What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. When you turn on your favorite arcade one-up cabinet, do you prefer to stand or to sit? In my opinion, at least one stool would have to make it into your game room. Some arcade lovers have strong opinions on the matter. If I wanted to sit and play games, I'd hook up my Xbox. The only way to play is to stand and play. Today, we'll talk about whether a stool is important to you. Let's get it started. So this NFL Blitz cabinet, the Sam's Club edition, is the only one that has the included stool. All the other stores uh, simply have the cabinet and riser, uh, so you really have to choose. Now, when I purchased this, this was at full price. Uh, I believe it was five, six thirty, six thirty uh, to include the stool. But now the thing is $100 cheaper, and so for $5.30, uh, you can still get the stool. So a lot of people are faced with the choice, do I get the included stool? Because uh, they may not think they want it, but if you decide later that you want to get it, believe me, it's going to cost you more. Uh, so it is available separately, but uh, at a hefty price. So if, if you buy the cabinet, you pay $30 more, you're able to get the stool with it. The average gamer is 34 years old, owns a house, and have children. Men are three times more likely to purchase a game than women. Given that the best arcade games were created from 1978 through 1990 and that the landmark video games that Arcade 1UP recreates were made from 1978 to 1981, those that play the classic video arcade cabinets are older than the average stated previously. The heydays of the video arcades was 33 to 44 years ago. If the average age that kids began playing video games on arcade cabinets was 10 years old, that would mean that the ages of targeted consumers of arcade 1UP products would be 43 to 54. Since this same demographic of gamers would have also spent many more years on the couch playing games on gaming consoles from Atari, Sega, Nintendo, Sony and Microsoft, this would suggest they have sat and played games longer than they did standing. But arcade cabinets are meant to be played standing up, right? Maybe. Some of the best games were in cocktail cabinets that required that you sit to play. This demographic of video gamers would most likely have grandchildren who may be interested in checking out the cabinets, these grandchildren would most likely require a stool. With this reality, would this suggest that the buyers of arcade 1UP cabinets would prefer to sit? The first arcade 1UP cabinets initially sold without a riser, which would promote playing from a sitting position. But many of the initial buyers complained that the cabinets were too short, suggesting that they wanted to stand. Today, almost all arcade 1UP cabinets includes a riser, which would also seem to promote standing to play the cabinet. The needle keeps swinging from sit to stand and back again. Most likely your game room would include at least one. What is your preference? How many stools do you own? Did your stool come with a cabinet, or did you buy it separately? When presented with the option to buy a cabinet with a stool or without a stool, which way do you swing? I bought three arcade 1UP cabinets that came with a stool. NBA Jam, Arcade 1UP Street Fighter 2 Big Blue, and NFL Blitz Legends. I purchased two arcade 1UP cabinet theme stools, Pac-Man and Golden Tee. The Pac-Man stool was modified to swivel. I purchased a non-matching bar slash counter swivel stool with flame design from Harbor Freight because it looked good next to the Arcade Double Dragon Black Edition cabinet. Where did you buy your stool and for how much? If you don't buy a stool with your cabinet, the prices for the separate stool ranges from $80 to $150.
Do the stools have to match the arcade cabinet? If you don't mind that the stool does not match the cabinet, then you can find stools at a much cheaper cost. If you have purchased non-matching stools, where have you found the best deals? Do you prefer that the stool swivel or remain in a fixed position? Do you want a traditional two-ring stool or one with a backrest? What about the placement of your stool when not in use? Do you match the stool to its cabinet or mix it up? Do you arrange your cabinets so that they are all side by side? If the cabinet has a stool, does that factor in the physical arrangement of the cabinet in your game room? I want to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching Detroit Love. Please subscribe to the channel. Like and share the video. We want to see and read your comments below. And until next time, I'll see you on the web.